Oh. <laughs> What's the question? That's right. <laughs> Welcome back to another Axe Family video. Hope you're doing well. Hope you got a smile on your face because it's a beautiful, beautiful day. And today we're here with another YouTuber uh, that we're super excited to hang out with. His name is Mike and he is a wood carver and he has a YouTube channel named Stinette Sticks. So Mike, why don't you uh, maybe tell us how you got into wood carving. Well, uh, uh, years ago I, I thought it would be interesting to try and carve a snake on a on a stick and uh, my first attempt was terrible but uh, I just kept trying harder and harder and and uh, finally you know developed my way of doing it and uh, this is number 78 right here that I've done and I'm working on 80 so I've made a few of them and it's making me uh, a little nervous because it, it feels like I'm sitting next to a real snake here <laughs> and uh, it, it actually looks like the eyes looking right at me I'm not sure if it's uh, about to strike but from what I understand this the snake is actually the same piece of wood as the staff yeah uh, I'll show you on this one where I just take a about a four inch in diameter piece of wood and uh, I start carving it and this is the rough out uh, shape of it and then from there I just take files and different tools and I I keep shaping it till I get it rounded out yeah so you use some some hand tools and then you also power um, tools use too power yeah. tools use a lot of power tools I haven't got time to use all hand tools so <laughs> I've got to use power tools and you have a, a nice selection here of, of wood that's along the wall that are these all future Yep, um, hopefully they're future sticks, if they don't crack, you know, and if, if they cure up real nice, then yeah. I'll make sticks out of those. How long does it take you to make one stick? About three weeks. I don't know how many hours I got into it, because sometimes I work pretty long days and sometimes short, but it takes me about three weeks to, to get a stick done. And uh, I watched a few of your videos, and they're... I mean, they're captivating. Just oh. the process that goes into this, and you, you would burn each individual scale on the on the snake. So I have two questions for you. One is why do you wood wood burn? Because I also saw you paint. I'll ask you the second question in a bit. Okay. Well, you know, I a first snake I did. I just carved all of the scales, and it took forever, and they looked terrible. So I got to thinking there's got to be a better way. So I took a just a utility wood burner and shaped a scale out of that and started pressing it in and wood burning the texture. And so that's how I, and the reason I wood burn is just to get the texture and shape of the scales on there. Mm. And then, you know, so that, that only has to do with shape. Then I have to come back and individually, uh, you know, colorize them to get the pattern of the snake that I'm after. In this case, this is a green Mojave, so it has a, a green sheen to it. So my second question is, how many scales are there? <laughs> yeah, I've estimated probably between four and 5,000 scales. Wow. Yeah. I haven't counted every individual <laughs> one, though. No. But it takes me about two and a half days to put the scales on it. Yeah. 
So when you're going through this process, there's a lot of time that you spend and you're sitting and you're hanging out with your, your dog, Pearl, and mm -hmm. you know, what's going through your mind when you're, when you're working on these projects? Well, mostly what's going on in my mind is I'd like to be out in the hills uh, hiking around or fishing or something like that, but in truth, I do do a lot of studying of the, of the anatomy of the, the face scales, the eyes. I want to try and get it pretty much accurate. And so I just uh, uh, really take a lot of care and study in, in how to get the, the scale shapes right. Yeah, well, you've done a remarkable job on this one. Well, thank you, Cody. So you're a very talented man, and I'm glad that you're pursuing your passion and, you know, the gift that you have, and you're producing a lot of incredible artwork. that we got to see one that was you know in in process and one that's finished to compare the two because it's you know it's it's pretty surprising how <laughs> different they look it's like a lot of difference compare the two to each other <laughs> but uh, yeah there's a lot of hours goes between this one and this one what's this gonna be this is gonna be a little mouse I left it just a big chunk of wood because I don't know exactly where the mouse is going yet yeah yeah, so supposed to be a mouse crawling up the stick ahead of the snake. And it's not just snakes that you carve, like you've carved oh, no. a lot of I, other animals. I like to carve all kinds of animals. I don't prefer doing snakes, I just get a lot of orders for snakes. Yeah, I think because of the, the conversation piece that they make. So if you haven't uh, seen any of his videos, there's only so much I can show you here, but he has a plethora of videos that are going to go into detail of each project and uh, the steps that he takes and they're really well made uh, his whole family kind of collaborates and makes these videos together and they do a really good job so head on over to Stanette Sticks and I'm gonna leave a link down below in the description There'll also be a link at the end of the video and uh, go on over there check out some of the videos I promise you you're gonna be surprised at how much work and detail goes into these things if you're new to the channel, push that subscribe button all the way in. Hit the bell so that you get notified when we post new videos. And then uh, there's a big thumb war going on right now. Did you know that? I heard it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so push that thumb war button down below because we want to win. And uh, we'll see you later. Hats off to you.